You see, in Ghana we say nibi kome yemen la. Some things ni ma be ye before. This morning, listening to some of the things that Oko said, it won't mean la. I mean, it is this level of incompetence that shocks some of us. That the NPP would assume, they hold a press conference and assume that the national officers can hold a torch to the NDC national officers. Let's, let's, let's call a spade a spade. You know, Asidun Ketia was very clear. You people, you, you, you hear, but you don't listen. There's a difference between hearing and listening. You understand me? And that's your problem. For you to sit here, doctor. Dr. Moi, and say that I said we get I said we didn't have results. Okay. Hey, okay. if you take this to the to the to the to the, to the practicing room, you will prescribe the wrong medication for your, your patient. <laughs> what did he say? The man was clear. He said yeah. at the time he was to appear in court, he had challenges with the collation that had been done. That is not to say that there were no challenges. With the with the results that as were collated, and that in fact, and you made reference to the Chachu case. He was explicit in that, in that in fact, the decision was taken that the crux of our argument was the impropriety of the electoral commission, and that is why when we went to court, Chachu Chikata decided that they wanted to do a cross examination of the electoral commission. Clear. How does this Jata. transmogrify itself into saying that I said didn't get it, I said NDC didn't have results and it's a vindication of seven zero? Let's go, yeah. No case. We are school. We are day school. Oh, Jata. But, I mean, but no, the viewer you see, knows. I mean, knows you guys the must stop. So, so, so you don't know why it's the You don't have to get distracted. You have the platform. Have, thank Time you. To proceed. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Please allow me. <laughs> Look, so let, let me yes, and let me come to the press conference he held yesterday. And I will start from him because he's here. Like Felix yeah. said, but I've not ah, seen, I've we not have seen, seen him and Sami Jinfi. I've not seen an elder who likes fight like this. Oh. Hey. The kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Oh, so, for so you see, I've stated that you don't have to get distracted. You have to control them. They are interjecting plenty. You don't have, you don't have <laughs> to get distracted. They are behaving like rascals. He has decided to make sure. He has decided to make sure that you don't flow. Oh, oh, but he lies. <laughs> In the words of Abba, say, I will throw. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look. Let, let us call a spade a spade. Mm. I mean, the MPP has hit panic button. The national executives are panicking. They are pissing in their pants. Ah. Have, this is the first time I'm hearing a party in government. A party that cannot pay its local and foreign debtors. A party whose government is, is giving haircuts to these Sakura people. A party in government that is in distress. And you are not calling a press conference, Richard Ahiaba, as communication director, to give hope to the people who cannot celebrate. This Christmas is not Christmas. And you, you are not giving them hope. You are doing a press conference to talk about the NDC's election of national executive. Are you that jobless? I mean, you have so much time on your hands, and you're so incompetent, that's the only thing you can respond to. Because you have absolutely no response to the quagmire your, your government has thrown this country into. And so you want to do a match for my, a boot for boot. I mean, I, I have respect for Mr. Steven and Tim. Fine gentleman. But you see, it's like, it's like comparing the Galacticos that Real Madrid had at a certain point in time to let me not go anywhere let me use me now pram pram pure joy 11. that's how that's how you are doing it that's that's a comparison you're making and we've decided to call him the general chairman because chairman general has been corrupted elsewhere in Adab at, at, at abeka junction the general chairman is there you want to compare him to Stephen and Jim? on what basis i mean what's the basis for the comparison or Code we are for fifty quite. My brother code we are. I mean, monkeys play by sizes. At the time, fifty quite was making national headlines and understood the job of a scribe of a political party. 
I was exploring it. Kodi, I was in school studying and aspiring to be like Fifi Kwete. And you tell me that one can match the other or even, even begin to think of matching the other. Communications. Abba Richard, we've seen you plenty of times with Sami Jenfi here. And you've left the bloody nose. So how, how, how are you going? Look, who was the judge? Look, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, while Sami was doing his wedding, if we had put a microphone in front of him to respond to you, you would have bloodied your nose. If, if was was taking his vows. So I don't understand how you are going to tell me that you are going to. I mean, how? I mean, who told you that? Where? Or Nanabi is going to match you, I mean. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me that of all the plethora of problems our country is faced with, the most priority issue for you as director of communications to call the media and spend your party's resources on after they appointed you is to tell them that you can match people boot for boot. It's a clear, Sami Jenfi won't waste time doing that. Because you see, the sweetness of the pudding is in the eating. Sami Jenfi doesn't need a press conference to tell the country that his national executives will whip your national executives any day, any time, man for man. And that's the competence we're talking about. You are all talk. The NDC team is all action. See you on the election ground in 2024. I mean, those things are a distraction. I appreciate it. <laughs> on the issue of the conferences, I, I, I agree with you that, and I agree on that with Oko, that there are reforms that are needed. I ask a simple question. Why do we separate the youth and women's elections from the General Congress? First and foremost, I think that it's a waste of resources to separate them because you spend resources, in the case of the NDC, in the past six weeks or four weeks, you spend resources going to Cape Coast, accommodating people in Cape Coast, and even the cost to the delegates themselves. So imagine a delegate from Boku traveled all the way from Boku to Cape Coast. Most likely left Boko on Thursday mm -hmm. to arrive Cape Coast on Friday for Congress to start on Saturday, completes on Sunday, and heads back and will get back to Boko maybe on, on Monday evening. Then by Thursday, he's coming back to Accra. I mean, why? Why are we doing that to ourselves? Mm -hmm. Why? And you see, it is because of these separations. When you have the youth and women alone, that people try to, because it's a smaller delegates uh, 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 number mm. it's a smaller conference you don't have all the big wigs of the party who evoke a certain sense of discipline at those at that smaller conference all kinds of things happen there okay issues of register and changes and all of those things that you are hearing if it was at a national congress the main congress those things would have happened and you see i even will go further to suggest and, I, and that look Instead of us not just co combining the two, let's have the elections decentralized. Our presidential elections for flag bearer, we don't bring everybody together. We do it in the various constituencies. We've decentralized into the various constituencies because we believe that the president has a national character. National executives, national executives have a national character. So you must be able to have, and if you're a national executive, mm. you must be able to have presence in all the 275 constituencies. So having a pulling agent to man a constituency station should not be difficult. The cost of transporting our delegates across the country, especially when you're in opposition, you get it. So at the end of the day, it is not, I, I, I think that, look, we must begin to empower and strengthen our political party system, a, 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 a processes in such a way that it takes away the stress to the person the cost associated with it, and it makes it seamless and simpler. Look, if you are doing the elections at, at, in constituencies, you can decide. Hey, at constituencies, there will be no speech by everybody. Yeah. At the constituency, you come in the morning. Conference is starting at 7. You see, the issue, the, I'm addressing the two issues you raised. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In your case, you spoke about speeches. In your case, you spoke about last-minute campaigns. Yeah. Good. If you are doing it in a constituency, you can't be everywhere. You can't be everywhere campaigning last minute. So, if yes. we are starting at 7, yes, we start at 7. Yes. And you can decide with the electoral commission with all the candidates that we will close polls at 3 o'clock. Yeah. Because we can delegate the, the numbers in the issue. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. 
So even if you start at even eight and you go to, to three, that's seven hours. And maybe the whole constituency is ah, in fact it is only the constituency executives who vote. Mm -hmm. Not branch executives for national executives, it's called yeah, executives. It's, it's 31 of them yeah. or 30. 30 people. Look, you can finish the election in every constituency in one hour or two hours because you go to your party office, the reps of all the candidates are there. The 30 people cast their votes in one hour. We are done. It is transmitted to a central location in the region, the region forwards it to national. Look. In four hours, we will finish a national election without the un uh, attendant cost. Because, see, there's a difference between delegate conferences where you're having a, a, a party conference and elections. We can then bring all of our people together for a national conference, maybe once every four years. Mm. But when we are going to have elections, let's decentralize it. The way we've done the presidential one. Even the presidential one where it is branch executives who vote which are more we're able to do it there so imagine 30 executives in the ndc per constituency and everybody is there you just go to your party office two hours you vote the results are translated and it will take away the issue of monetization in the elections on election day where where people are uh, delegates are in a particular campus or, or, or hotel and, <laughs> and and you hear the mc shouting themselves host, we will start congress delegates please come it's cocoa season they won't come but that's if the transmission the system doesn't crash. See.